Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my thrift handbag collection versus my designer handbag collection. So the first outfit that I have here, I'm really excited for this because I would say I wear both quite frequently, but of course there are some purses that like I never wear, never make it to my Instagram, never make it to my YouTube channel that I have just kind of like re-fell in love with today. So if you guys like these type of videos, please subscribe because I would absolutely love to have you and I'm just gonna kind of duke it out between the two of them and kind of, I guess, I guess do like a showdown almost. I'm gonna preface this by saying, obviously you do not need a designer handbag to be fashionable or stylish. Like I wear my thrifted bags probably like, I don't know, I don't wanna ruin it, but like I wear my thrifted bags a lot and I find them just as like fashionable and chic as a lot of my designer bags as well. So we're just gonna go with it. If you guys wanna see my full designer handbag collection, um, I'm gonna link it somewhere up in the cards up here because I go into more depth of how I got them, where I got them, etc., etc. This is a little Burberry purse that I actually got from my cousin when I was 14. I did not understand the value of these things, so I treated it like garbage, but that's how you know it wears really well. And I love it, I wear this a ton. And I would say a similar thrifted bag that I have to this is Good Old Faithful, this nude baguette number. And you guys know that Fendi baguettes are just like really in right now. I don't really want to like invest in one because I still find them like a little too pricey for me, especially for like a fad. And I feel like this really just like kind of satisfies that for me. This looks really similar to the Christian Dior saddlebag, um, which is like kind of like with the scoop bottom. But I would say that these two definitely compete when I'm trying to figure out what to wear. Nude bags are just so great. Regardless if you go designer or thrifted, a nude bag is definitely an essential in a closet. Which one do I wear more though? Definitely this one. And it's thrifted, it was $10 guys. And I don't really know the value of this, but I'll try to link it in the description box below so you guys can see how much it actually costs. This is definitely something I wear more, mainly because of the drop of the strap, because it's just so simple and people always compliment me on this purse. So when it comes to the two of these, this one definitely wins. <laughs> Let's do another versus, and I'm gonna go with, hmm. So let's go with black bags. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this purse, and this is an Alexander Wang number. I actually got this on ThreadUp, so it kind of doubles as like a thrifted purse, like not actually, but it was pre-owned, and a lot of my designer is pre-owned. That's a tip for you guys. If you guys are looking for any designer bags, I highly, re I highly recommend getting them pre-owned because you will wear them more, I promise you, because when things are shiny and brand new, you don't wanna like take them out and like ruin them or like, I don't know, like wear them, so I, I just feel like like, it's just better getting them pre-owned. I don't know, it's just my opinion. I think going forward, I probably will get a lot of purses pre-owned. But this is a top handle bag. It has the studs on the bottom. It's super cute. But the only thing is there's no cross body strap on it. And it is a heavy bag because of all the metal detailing. So like, I love this bag and I think it's really fun. My mom actually had it from me for like six months. So this kind of re-entered my wardrobe recently, but I haven't, found an occasion really to wear it. Like every single time I wanna wear a black bag, I go towards this purse. And this is a thrifted purse I got um, like over the summer and it's just so great. I love the little like outside detail stitching. Um, I love the top, like this little like over the shoulder strap. It's just so convenient guys and it goes with everything. I've worn this so many different times and I love that it's not as flashy as something like this because when you see something like this, it looks like Alexander Wang. Like a lot of people who know handbags will know this is Alexander Wang and I just, um, it, it has to really go with a certain vibe, but this really goes with everything. Um, I actually saw this recently at the thrift store again. Um, so I believe this was an overstock item. For those of you who don't know what an overstock item is, basically it's just inventory that a store can't sell. So sometimes they sell it to the thrift store so at least they can make some of their money back. So I think that this was actually brand new. Between the two, which one do I wear more? Definitely the thrifted one. And just because the size is more convenient, um, it goes with a lot more. And I feel like this, it's just, it's very heavy for every day. And I could definitely utilize a crossbody strap. If this had a crossbody strap, I definitely would wear it more. Next purses, I'm also going to do another battle of the black purses. And it will be my Gucci purse. And you guys know, this was like one of the first designer items I ever got. 
and I actually didn't get this for the retail price because I had a friend that hooked me up but um, these retail for I think over 2,000 Canadian now I could be wrong but I will link it in the description box below I actually really love this purse I got so much wear out of it it's been all over my Instagram um, I got it at like right before the height of when this whole Gucci trend was really really hot um, I'm really happy I didn't get the belt or anything else from this collection in hindsight just because I really feel like personally it's a little bit overdone for me right now but I know I will return to this bag when that whole fad is over because I really like it it's so hard wearing even though it's a soft leather I have yet to scratch it or anything and it goes out with me a ton I wore this all over 2017 and 2018 I just love this purse but a purse that's kind of comparable to it is this one and I would say these kind of fall into like you could wear them both in day and the evening this purse I actually just picked up from my Charlie's Angels thrift haul it has this belt loop detail here which is very similar to what Prada is doing right now which is why I picked it up this is currently like my purse of the moment and I love it it's just so so easy to throw on and I feel like even though it's obviously not a designer bag, it looks like something that could be a lot more high end just because of its simplicity and just how well it's done. So I got this for $5 versus this one. Retails for about $2,000 now, but I definitely didn't get it for that price. Which one would I pick between the two of them? Honestly, even though I don't wear it as much, probably this one, and I'll tell you guys why. I already picked this one out and I feel like these two are quite similar. But this one, even though I don't wear it a ton, it has that crossbody function. You can wear it over the shoulder and it really goes with everything. I'm also such a big fan of like gold hardware. So I think that this, like look, it would just literally go with my outfit right now and I'm in sweatpants and I just think it makes your outfit look like a million bucks. So yeah, this one I'm gonna have to give to the Gucci. Let's face off a few more. Okay, so let's do Chloe lookalikes because I literally bought this purse um, because it looked like a Chloe bag and it is this thrifted baguette bag my mom thinks this is like the ugliest purse ever but like I personally really like it and it really looks like what Chloe was doing with the oversized padlock and the oversized like details back in like 2005 or something like I remember Rachel Bilson had a bag from Chloe and it was so so freaking cute and that's why I decided to pick this one up because I had a feeling that like something like this would just feel really really on trend um, I will tell you how much I afford it after I tell you about this one um, this was actually a gift to myself um, when I went to Paris France for the first time and I took my mom so it has a really special memory connected to it but it is the Chloe Faye bracelet bag and I got this in that army military green color it looks so like luxurious and it's just so pretty the only thing is it really doesn't hold a lot obviously it's definitely something that you reserve for weddings or if you're going out to dinner and you don't need a lot to carry I will be bringing this to Miami with me because I just feel like it's a really good bag to bring out and about however it's not super hard wearing because of the hardware and the whole like soft leather with the suede it's not something you want to wear out in the rain it's not something you want to wear and get like a drink spilt on it like you have to be very particular where you wear this bag but you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it by the handle which I love this purse I just discovered these little things come off so that way you can actually take this and you can wear it as a clutch, which I think is really, really cute as well. But um, between the two, which one would I choose? The Chloe bracelet bag, just because it's so special to me. And personally, I feel like I'm gonna be over this in probably a month or two, to be honest, just because it, it feels very trendy. But this still feels timeless to me. I know some people don't feel that way about Chloe, but this is so cute and I love it and I actually got it for a lot cheaper because I got it in Europe versus here but here I believe this retails for 1800 Canadian which is like ooh, gives me the creeps I don't like that next purse I want to chat about here is my Louis bag and I'm gonna actually put this against another Louis bag that I bought pre-owned at a pre-owned designer store in Japan so even though both are designer one definitely looks like it's in a lot worse shape so I'm just gonna show you guys the two of them so this one I bought brand new in Barcelona so I got it for a little bit cheaper I think I saved 
maybe five or six hundred dollars getting it there with the VAT tax back and just they're cheaper in Europe in general. Um, this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 bandolier which means it does have a crossbody function. Um, I got this in the 30 just because that is the classic size and I just felt like as I get older, something like this may be more practical in a bigger size. But I'm holding my breath because <laughs> I also have this purse that I purchased in Japan. This is a Louis Vuitton, like I don't even know what this is called because they discontinued the shape a long, long time ago. And during this era when this bag was produced, the lining over time got sticky because the type of adhesive they used for the lining would seep through the... Um, would seep through pretty much and it would make it really sticky and peely and just kind of gross and that's the lining that was in it originally when I bought this. This was $135 Canadian um, in Japan. So I decided to take it to like a local like leather working shop and I got it relined for $60. So this total cost me around I would say like 200 bucks. This one definitely you can see the patina has aged. Um, it's just a different shape. Not everyone has this purse versus everyone has this purse for sure. It's definitely like an iconic classic. This one appreciates in value a ton, like over the years because Louis Vuitton raises their price every year. So it's even more expensive than what I bought it for at the time, which was around 1500 Canadian, I would like to say. Um, but I do like this a lot. This, however, um, <laughs> I've worn so freaking much. This is all over my Instagram guys. The lining, I didn't keep it like obviously authentic, like didn't bring it to the Louis Vuitton store because I think they would just like not know what to do with this. Like it has aged so nicely. Like even though there's obviously a lot of water staining and wear, um, I personally like my Louis Vuitton bags like that. So this one I never wear out because I just am so paranoid about ruining it because this was such a milestone bag for me. If you guys watch my handbag collection video, I kind of go into that a little bit more, but I love this purse, but I just never wear it because I'm just so afraid to ruin like the patina and everything. But at the same time, I like when the bag looks brown. Like this looks so much better to me in my head than something like this. So between the two, which one would I choose? Probably this one because I wear it so much more. I love that even though it carries a lot, it still has a very narrow, like kind of slim profile and the base is hard. So it still keeps its shape. Um, I love this and I'm not afraid of ruining it. So there's that. So when I say to look at pre-owned bags, like that, this is like kind of a lesson that it taught me because something like this, I get so much more wear out of, even though it doesn't look as perfect and shiny and new as this, like, this I don't have to worry about. I'm gonna go into the last duke it out. So I have one little fanny pack here that I thrifted and I love this purse. Like, listen, no, it's not even a purse, it's, it's a fanny pack, but um, it's by Nike and I love wearing this when I travel and so does Dylan, so it's definitely unisex. It still has like the vintage um, little sign right here and it's really really cool I'm so glad I never spent money on like a designer fanny pack when they were really hot um, this does just this does the job just fine and I think it looks really cool because it is vintage and then what I will have to put against this is my pre-owned <laughs> Prada backpack and Prada nylon is actually very hot right now but I actually got this almost two years ago when I was going on my trip to Paris. I just felt like I needed an easy travel bag. Um, I actually got this off of eBay so even though it is a designer item I definitely got it for less than if you were to buy a Prada nylon bag at the Prada store. I don't know exactly how much it cost but I believe it was between $200 and $300 Canadian. I really really do love this purse. These are the two bags that we love to use when we travel. Um, this one does not fit my vlog camera, this one does. This one is just easy because you can throw it on your front and when you travel, I sometimes I get a little paranoid about having like my backpack on my back if someone's gonna like pickpocket me or things like that. But at the end of the day, which one would I choose to bring on a trip with me if I only had one? It would definitely be my Prada nylon backpack. Even though they're kind of still trendy right now, they're very practical for traveling obviously. And this I just find I can fit so much more. It's so easy to carry. It looks super cute with a bunch of different outfits. And because I got it in like this neutral like gray green color, it really just kind of steps up every single outfit I decide to wear when I travel. It's also really great in the airport. I'm actually gonna be bringing this bag on my trip that's coming up in a couple days. So um, if you guys wanna see how I style this, you can definitely head on over to my Instagram because I would love to have you. But yeah, I feel like out of the two, 
Both are pre-owned, but this one definitely won out. So guys, my takeaway from this whole battle of the purses, experience, handbag, like designer versus thrifted, which would I, which collection would I rather have in my closet? I don't really know if I can answer that, but if I had to pick, it would probably be my thrifted purses because I wear them a lot more. However, if you are going from a fashion perspective, I feel like a designer bag always kind of steps up any outfit that I'm wearing. I feel really good in them. I feel like they look just really great. I like love designer bags. It's like a love of mine. So it's really hard to pick between the two, which is why my happy medium is always pre-owned and going forward I always try to look at pre-owned websites before I even like step foot into like a luxury store I haven't bought a designer purse in over a year and I've been really happy with my collection here and I really love the mix of like high and low and thrifted versus not and like I'm um, it's not always about wearing like expensive head to toe overall I like having both <laughs> If you guys like these type of videos and want me to do something similar with my thrifted shoes versus my designer shoes or something like that, let me know by leaving a comment on this video. Um, I haven't really seen this be done before, so if there's any similar videos to this, let me know because I would love to watch them. But yeah, that's the end of this today. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.